I want to give a huge shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and also creating an amazing all-in-one platform that's helping me grow and launch my brand. <gasps> Lukewarm. <gasps> Absolutely, and I'm so sad I can't be with you to give you the biggest hug and kiss in the world. Well, the miscarry was, I know what it was from. We crashed a little electric scooter. Been looking forward to starting this vlog for a while. This is an important one for me, for Hannah, for Preston, for our family. We are going to have another baby. As you know, we did IVF the first time. So we're, uh, we obviously had a miscarriage. It was a genetic issue. If you've been following along and you know our story, for those of you that don't, you gotta backtrack couple years to the vlogs. It was a pretty emotional, intense time for us, but um, we had a genetic miscarriage. It was very taxing emotionally, a very tough time, but I would like to say, and I always still believe and will always say, that it brought us closer together and made for a beautiful partnership, not only for us, but so much love, anticipation, respect, joy for Preston coming in our lives. But it was a long process, so instead of trying naturally for the second one, we've opted well, we've opted to have our second via IVF because we are very fortunate and blessed to have a lot of embryos who have tested genetically um, in the top 0.1%. Um, so it alleviates the stress of having another genetic miscarriage. Um, and it's a choice we made. So we have a bunch of girls and boys left. So we're putting another one in. I leave it up to you guys to guess what that might be. Will it be a boy, will it be a girl? You know, we had a boy first, but I just did this transfer form. I had, Hannah was at the hospital this morning at 8 a.m. She's been going, we're just starting her shots again, progesterone every night. She's gotta get ready for the transfer and this form is notarized. They can let the embryos go and um, send them to where they must go for the next step. So guys, people, don't need to always say guys, people who are watching this, we're back in the throes of it. Number two is on the way. Not yet, but fingers crossed to crossing them for two. Hopefully we'll be back soon. But our journey begins now, and that's the most important part of all this. So stay tuned. We're excited. We're bringing another little life into the world, and it's a beautiful thing. I seriously don't understand how I could put more love in this heart as you know, or you might feel or see, I'm just obsessed with Preston and I'm obsessed with my wife. So it's crazy to think I'm gonna have to frame out a little space in my heart for someone else, but I cannot wait. It's gonna be an absolutely beautiful thing. So you're on the journey with us. We're bringing you along as always. Don't know why we do it, but we started and now we can't stop and the love and support we get from all of you is amazing. So wish us luck on this journey. It begins right here. So good. Guys, today's an exciting day. You know what just happened? I did a little in embryo implantation. We just put a little <whistles> bun in the oven. Let's see. Let's see. Fingers crossed. It is the end of May. And we might have another baby on the way okay <laughs> just rhyme away do as you say let's get down to some play <laughs> i'm feeling silly <laughs> <laughs> um, i'm just so excited it's so cool hannah you're the best i love you babe you're the best i love you too love that you love our home in its current state thank you i Felt so good waking up here this morning. I know. Oh, we had to talk that about in the other vlog, so we're gonna wrap this piece up. Whew. Just waking up here. Post a trip to France. Gotta get this morning hair down. Oh, You're working on yours. I look insane. I just woke up literally <laughs> five seconds ago. But your skin looks great. Thank we just you. said that. But it's an exciting day because we're doing... We're taking a test. Whoa, this one says pregnant or not? Oh, God. Wait, that seems really intense. 
I had me. One way or another, it's saying that. Yeah. Either the word or a line. We did the implantation when? Like. Two weeks ago? No. Less than two weeks ago. Less than Almost, two. I think we're at like 10 days. Okay. See how I distracted you from knowing you had to pee there? Your urine stream. Five seconds. And then cap on? Mm-hmm. No. No cap. No cap. No cap. Smart countdown will appear on the display. Each second will appear in sequence. Oh. Just wasn't even done reading the instructions yet. Come on. Oh my god. Come on. Oh my god. I'm just really excited right now. We're having another baby. Oh my god. We're having another baby. We're having another baby. God. I have a real question though. <laughs> uh, what? When do we tell Preston? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Neither do I. Oh. I'm so excited. Oh my god. It was the fastest thing that ever happened to us. Oh my god. You like my angle? I did like <laughs> your angle. <laughs> We're having a baby! Oh my god, I'm in Woo. We obviously gotta be patient and wait till 12 weeks. Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't believe it. I'm just so happy. I literally cannot believe it. <laughs> Oh, your hair attacked me in the eye. <laughs> oh. Babe. Sorry. That's oh, exciting. Wow. <whistles> okay, babe, I have to get in the shower. I'm leaving. I'd have a shower with you, but I gotta go to the gym. Oh. Alright, enjoy your shower. Babe, will you pick out a Cali of love for me? That is an exciting day. Yes, I would love to do anything. <laughs> I can't even believe it. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. It's really pumped. Can't believe I have to go to a work event. I know. I'm so sorry. Ugh. Ugh. Stuff just isn't easy. But we got five more embryos. Yeah, and like I said, we came up with a plan for moving forward. So what's the um, plan? When are we doing the I, next? Can I just can I ride back? I just need to find my car, and then I'll okay. call you back when I get in. Okay, okay I love you. Okay, I love you. So we just got some rough news, as you heard. Hannah had some bleeding the other day, and there was a little like blood vessel next to the embryo or something they said it would go away and then the bleeding got worse and she headed into the city for work and obviously you saw we found out and now we're back at the starting point again but you know wasn't meant to be I guess and this next one will uh you want to come here for a second Papa could use a hug. Papa could use a big hug. Can you give me a hug? Thank you. Thank you. No more than ever, he needs one. Yeah, no more than ever, he needs one. Mm-hmm. So does your mama. I wish you could give your mama one right now. Yeah. It's tough creating the life, man. It was tough creating you. It was really tough creating you, but we did it. And now you're here, and it's a beautiful thing. I love you so much, man. Can you say, I love you? I love Papa. You. <laughs> oh. How do I look? 
In the pool? No. We're not going swimming right now. Kids, I tell you. I would come to see her the day we land on the 13th and um, hopefully start progesterone that night and then hopefully do a transfer on the 20th. But the only thing about the transfer on the 20th is that uh, she doesn't, she has to call the lab and make sure that someone can saw the um, embryo. embryo because they technically aren't supposed to be doing transfers until later that week. So she asked if we were flexible on our leaving time, if we could leave on like the 23rd. I told her that we were already pushing our trip from the 17th to the 20th, but what's, you know, three more days. I don't, yeah, I'd rather, moved. like, w our trip is whatever. I'd rather create a human, you know? Totally. So um, I said that that would probably all work out. And then she also said that, you know, wherever we're going, she was like, I just want you really relaxed and off your feet from the day mm -hmm. you find, from the day you have a positive pregnancy test for at least two weeks. Got it. So, you know, if we're, you know, if, if it worked out that we were doing a transfer on the 20th or the 22nd, right, then 10 days after that is mm -hmm. kind of when we're in Greece. Yeah. And so it's like Greece through, you know, the rest of the month. Like, she just wants me to, like, chill. chill. So if we um, do a pregnancy test, or if we do an implantation on the 23rd, let's say, when, ah, oh, excuse me, I had a small nap. When do we test? Do a yeah, test? A pregnancy test, yeah. Like, 10 days later, like the 3rd. Okay. Of August. So we'll so be with your August. family during that. Yeah. And let's pack some tests from America so we don't have to go find some at a island store. Well, you know, at least we don't have to go through a whole thing and get eggs again and everything. There's some, 100%. you know, we're, we were well prepared for this. I think the 100%. hardest part is just that we got excited and told people and now we got to tell them. Yeah, yeah. And now I would like to not tell anyone when our next transfer is and say so we're trying to figure it out. Probably after summer or something, like, let's just say that. But I like that, our, that we have a plan and, totally. you know, I'm obviously like upset and this is like physically uncomfortable. Absolutely. And I'm so sad I can't be with you to give you the biggest hug and kiss in the world. Yeah. I would really like to give you a hug and Preston would love to give you a big hug too. Yeah. And we love you so much. And you're such a trooper. You're the strongest woman we know. You're the best woman in our lives. And without you, both of us would be nothing. So, you know, even this next little human we create will be uh, very thankful. Yeah. And we got five more tries, and one of them's going to work. Totally. If it doesn't work in August, then we do it in September. Okay. So, what do you do? You're going to your event now? Yeah, I'm in the car. I'll be right there. Okay, well, put that game face on, girl. No one's better at it in the world than you. Thank you. And it, uh, you know, we'll just add to your story yet again, which is crazy. Yeah. And then I had to go to an event and put a smile on. Um, I know. Is it a wine event? Yeah. We'll have a big glass of wine. I know. Woo! At least you don't have to fake the sips. Now you'll be like, just don't drink a whole bottle, though. You might be able to. <laughs> I brought a joint in my purse from the house just in case this happened. Yes. Like, end of the event, you're, like, sitting on the curb, full bottle of wine. People are like, what's wrong? <laughs> uh, okay, we'll FaceTime me after, yeah? What time are you done? Um, I have another cocktail event that I have to go to for every realm afterwards. And then I have a, a, actually a really nice reservation tonight at dinner. Um, and... I'm going to have a cocktail. Martini it and up, babe. Totally. I love you so much. I love you more. Okay. Okay. Talk to you. in a little bit. Bye. Bye. These moments aren't easy. But they make you stronger, that's for sure. Anyway. I'm also going to get off this and take some time to myself. Because I was a partner to a woman trying to have a baby during this you know we also a therapist and uh 
and a voice of reason, and you gotta keep the spirits up. But man, that's tough. Interrupting this vlog very briefly. Um, wanted to kick off the new year um, by talking about a partner of mine, which you saw at the start of this video, Squarespace, which I'm super happy they've been supporting my creativity, my drive to keep creating these vlogs, keep you guys entertained, um, keep my products going with Follow Studios. I have five more things coming um, in the first half of the year and a collaboration, which I'm excited about. So I host that all on the back end of Squarespace. Squarespace is a super great place to host whatever creative endeavor you have. It could just be a site where you wanna showcase your ideas, your thoughts. It could be a business where you're trying to go to retail and you need a cart system. It could be um, a hub for community that you're creating. Um, there is also a great community on the back end, help you problem solve things. A super great place to ask all the questions, get all the answers. It's really low entry point to get involved with Squarespace to get your idea from your brain to the page to the web and out in front of the world. So Squarespace, thank you for supporting me in my endeavors. Everyone else, it's January, 2023. If you've had that idea brewing in here forever, it's time. Get after it, launch it, put a plan in place. Don't stand or sit, better yet, and wait around for someone else to come up with that idea and then you say, I thought of that first, or to just not find time to do it, find the time get after it. Squarespace makes it easy to get that idea out to the world. All right, let's get back to the vlog. Guess what we're talking about? Guess. Yeah. We're talking about how to announce to the world on Instagram that we're having a Stuck in your tooth? Can you show everyone where the baby is? We're getting this together. Mama doesn't like that Papa just freestyles things. She likes plans. Yeah, just so then she'll go second. and dry things and take her time because it's not part of the plan. Shasta? So she'll waste the moments. It's, it's the moment is what we make it. Not when you say it is. I'm the director. You're the cast. I'm the star, baby. I'm the star. Okay, press him. How's your mat? Is it good? Is it clean? Okay, mama's gonna close. She's gonna put the wrap away, all the things. Our place looks insane. Ready? Ready. Preston, where's the baby? Can you show everybody? Can you touch it? Yeah. The strawberries? The baby likes strawberries? Yeah. Can you kiss the baby? Oh. That was so cute. Are you going to be the best big brother? So we were just discussing how we're going to announce on Instagram that we're having another baby. You're going to have a sibling. Me? I have a baby there. You have, you have a baby, baby here? What kind of <coughs> what, what kind, kind of baby? baby? Paw Patrol. A Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol baby. <laughs> Can I kiss the Paw Patrol baby? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we are officially having a little baby as a little fam, right? And you're going to be the best big brother. Paw Patrol! <laughs> and we're so excited. Paw Patrol baby! We're so excited about this baby. Spring baby. Spring baby. And okay, so how do we want to announce it? Because now we're working with limited time if people are coming over here this afternoon. Oh, we're here this evening too. Huh? We're not coming right till he goes to bed probably. No. Yeah, so we can do a bath one later. Yeah, we can do a bath one later. And I guess if we feel rushed, we, we could just do always... a little one now as well. Yeah, that's what I was. That's like what if I was... we go get the tripod. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like I brought two outfits. Like maybe you want to see which one. I could go put one on right now yeah. and shower. 
I could make him a little lunch and then go quickly shower or something. We're eating cranberries. And we're celebrating. Pastor, we're celebrating this little, this little baby right here. Can you rub the Buddha belly? Oh yeah, your hands are dirty. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, our journey hasn't been super easy this time around either. We haven't really talked about it much so far. But we've been trying for how long with this one? Um, I mean, we did our first implantation yeah. in May. Yeah. Yeah. You want to try this one? Yeah. Yeah, it didn't take. It did take. Oh, it did take. And we miscarried. Yeah, we miscarried, sir. We had another miscarriage. Mom was going to open it. And then we did another implantation. In September. And? It took. Here we are. But so we went through our second miscarriage journey, which is obviously stressful because we did IVF again, and we just thought we'd take out all those variables. Um, but that's a longer story. No, I mean. With a possible miscarry. Well, the miscarry was, I know what it was from. <laughs> I know, it's a longer story. It was from you guys been following really along, delicious. we went to Provence um, yeah. before going to a wedding yeah. and we crashed a little electric scooter and, and I, Hannah was very early in her pregnancy. Yeah, and I completely, I fell over and like... Scooter fell on you. Scooter fell on me, I landed on my hips when I got home. My like body worker was like, what the hell happened? Your hips are completely out of alignment. And then when I went in for my checkup, they saw a little hairline fracture um, and they thought maybe it would fix itself, but it didn't. So that's, that's that. Be careful on the scooter people. Careful on scooters, Preston. Okay? He looks over his glasses. I play. You wanna go play? You wanna play with that? Yeah. Okay. But we did crash the scooter. Hannah was bleeding. I said, hey, this is awful, let's go back. Um, obviously we didn't know at that time that it would affect the baby to be. And Hannah said, no, we gotta get this drone footage. Well, I know how important the drone is to Brandon. And I, I was down not to get the footage. But we got it, and it was pretty epic. It was epic. And we went out for a nice dinner after. And his leg was bleeding all over the place. <laughs> serious boss. Right here, serious boss. A little crazy. A little crazy. How good to get the mind off it. Mm -hmm. Those look old. Anyway. Yeah, well, we don't have any snacks. Then we found out after. Lots more tears. Mm -hmm. And again, same as last time around, I had to literally work. I it happened on my way into the city for two different gigs that I had that day. And I had to do it all while having a miscarriage, which mm. was insane. Insane. That's our journey, but now it's full of smiles. Because mm -hmm. this little munchkin is going to enter our world. So what should I put on? I have a little white like mock turtleneck dress oh. or I have a spit skinny tight long to the ground like skims dress with like a problem with like a flannel hmm. or like an oversized shirt over it. Yeah I'm gonna stay casual. Okay. He's gonna be looking cool. What are we building? Okay. okay. Let's do it. Should I have a quick shower? Sure. Are we having a family bath? Whoa. Papa. We're having a fire? Can I take your shirt off already? You want to get in? Look at it in front of the fire. Preston, how beautiful is this? Are we so lucky? We're the gonna, four of us. Are you going to have a little candlelit bath? The four of us. Paw Patrol baby. <laughs> You got a baby in there? Yeah. Show us in the mirror. You got a baby? Paw Patrol baby. 
And Mama? Mama, Paw Is Mama's baby a Paw Patrol baby or just Preston's baby? Mama. Mama's having a Paw Patrol baby? Yeah. Well, that's fun. Are you excited for the bath? Okay, should we take our sweatshirt off? Also, we're gonna do a video next time I'm out here and give everyone a proper tour of the renovation. Cause we just got our final window put in, so now we can talk about it. But until then, just enjoy this fireside. These are not a Duraflame log, by the way. This is a recycled coffee grind log called the Java log. A little more, less toxic chemicals when it burns. Um, yeah. Okay, stand up. Sustainable. Okay, All right. That's so where we leave you. Yeah. See you after this. Who's in the robe? Papa. And you. And Preston. We're both in the robe. No, no. Nap time. Nap time? No, bedtime. You got here. Snackies. Snackies? All right, we were trying to get out of here. Back to the city. Guys, we did successfully get some beautiful pregnancy shots to do Hannah's announcement this week. It will be sometime this week before this vlog comes out. We're super excited to share it with you guys, share it with the world. Share it with you, get our little family started even more, right? Because what do we love? We love Paw Patrol stickers on the floor. Did you do that? Yeah. Did you do that, man? Yeah. Was that you? Blah. Here's a pretty big update. We've come a long way. Preston, what's your name? Preston. What's this guy's name? Preston. What's her name? Preston. What's her name? Mama, but what's her other name? What's Mama's real name? Say it again. Louder. Hannah. Yeah, and what's your last name? Fallis. Fallis. Come on, guys. We are getting somewhere. Man. Can we do our handshake? One, two. Yeah. You got a handshake too? Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Choo choo. Choo choo? Yeah. Hey Google, can you play the choo choo song? Playing the album Choo Choo Songs and Nursery Rhymes on Spotify. Choo choo. choo. <laughs> All aboard. All aboard. Preston, it's 9.05. Yeah. You know what that means? Time for class. So we installed this film on our glass, which I'll tell you about, but it fogs everything. Wait, do you want to press it? You want to show everybody? Press the button. Are you going to press the button? No, you don't want to reveal it yet? Middle button. Oh, yeah. Wow. You press this in. Harder. And let go. Oh, try again. Right in the middle. All the way. All the way. Yep. Hey. Boom. Good job. So we've been doing lots of work, right, P? Can you tell everyone who's on your pajamas? Paw Patrol. Yeah, Paw Patrol. Who's this? Rubble. Yep, Rubble. Who's this? Sky. Sky. Who's, who's that? Who? Chase, you love Chase, right? But I got a lot of decorating to do for a proper house tour, so stay tuned for that. I'm excited today, though. We're getting our last piece of mirror in the closet because this is a structural pipe, so. Yeah. iPad? Yeah. Wow, okay. Preston, whose blanket is this? Yeah. That's the coolest. It's a big day today. We just put up this post and announced our pregnancy to the world. Cause this little baby is coming into the world. And we're excited and it's just awesome to see 
the feedback that comes from it, everyone so positive. So many comments, people FaceTiming and immediately calling. It's just so exciting. We're not making bacon, egg, and cheeses to celebrate. That's right. Let's get glutinous, gluttonous. I wanted one yesterday, but I held off. You know what? It's not even unhealthy. It's not. We have like beautiful, delicious, organic apple smoked bacon, pasture raised eggs. Pasture raised eggs, tell us more. Some toast. By the way, we love the Bermuda. We did this overhanging bar area at the end of our kitchen so we could have nice little <clears throat> nice little moments. And Hannah and I can eat little dinners because for two, if Preston goes to bed or whatever, or breakfast, and then this is a wood burning fireplace which is not yet done. <clears throat> Charlie, if you're watching, we'd love to finish this. Um, but yeah, we can put a Duraflame log in there and have a little meal, fireside meal, a glass of vino, you name it. Hey, will you grab a hot sauce? Excited. Hot sauce? Don't mind if I do. Mm. Guys, we are going out on a Sunday night, rare occurrence, but my boy sorted us for tickets for Drake at the Apollo. Only two nights ever. Last night, Dipset played with him. So I don't know who's gonna show up tonight, but I'm excited. Are you excited? I am so excited. <laughs> yeah, me sick. But we gotta go. We gotta go to Harlem, baby. All right, it is raining. Just had a really nice dinner at this little spot called Clay, which Hannah sourced on the infatuation in Harlem. Me? It was very cute. Very cute. And the food was delicious. But we were very late, so we rushed yeah. through it all. Yeah. Now, since we're on Drake's guest list, we gotta figure out how to get in because the show's supposed to start at 9 and it's 9.05. It's well, not gonna start on time. Never does. It's been a minute. Last time we were here, we saw. Chef! Shacked, because Hannah's mom was in the original. Damn right. Damn right. So we came to see the reboot. And uh Shut. that's the only time I've actually been here. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Now we're back. Oh, and the street is closed for the show. Oh. Shut down! forgot to film even leaving that place because it was pouring rain but the show was crazy it was really crazy insane no oh, oh. <laughs> it was really crazy it like was an so epic good. once this hit after hit after hit after hit you know I can't really film it because YouTube has crazy policies about taking videos down for copyright which is so annoying but uh yeah, that was a once in a lifetime. It really was. And I'm then, happy we like, did it. something crazy happened right before 21 Savage. Came on. Right before 21 Savage. And I like, came watched on. it happen. I wish I filmed it on my phone. But I'm kind of glad you didn't because, like, I know, it it's been weird. freaky. This guy fell off the second story. Like, right where balcony. we were sitting, but, like, in the middle, which was right above and he fell on all the, the light source, like yeah. all the lights for the stage. He knocked lights over and fell on all these people and the show but was like, thank on God, pause for 15 minutes. Thank God he didn't knock one of the lights over. Totally. If he had lock, knocked one of those huge ass net lights. And onto people, it would've been crazy. And I also looked over at Hannah during it and said, this is our baby's first concert. Yeah. <laughs> Drake 21, at the Apollo. Can you do something for me? And your first concert was at the Apollo. No, it wasn't. Nice try, though. You know, James Brown at the... Carnegie Hall. Carnegie Hall. Ah, oh, so close. Another iconic New York venue. Though. We've never been to Carnegie Hall together. I know. Is that true? Didn't we go see your mom's play there and you DJ? Uh, no, you and I DJed there together for my dad's play, or for something that my dad was doing. Yeah. Um, but we've ne we didn't watch the play. We got some cool 
I OVO guess we Apollo physically. merch. Yeah, I guess we physically have been there together. So. Also, can we just take a second for this makeup? This new Mary Phillips contour it's first. really good. With then doing the concealer and then doing foundation. How did it look on me though? Blush. I did it. Skin looking flawless. Can we also talk about, I don't know if you guys have realized just in the vlogs we haven't done home tour, but we didn't have these two mirrors for the last like six months. And now they're there and it's really nice. Very, very nice. It makes it feel really big. But still, there's nothing back there, but I have a plan for what's gonna go here. For sunglass storage and hats, an FYI. And I haven't really done a closet tour yet, but just so you see, boom. All these are lit up. That's for another day. Update from the Fallis household. I just burned myself with scalding hot water. Hannah just called me and we were watching TV and she's saying, I'm gonna go make teas for us. And came upstairs and then I heard this crash. And I sat there, sat there perplexed for a minute. And then Hannah said, B, I need your help. And I came up and she burned her hand. Like badly, like it really hurts. I put it under cold water Ugh. immediately. But I can you sneezed <laughs> while I was filling up the glasses with hot water. It was like a sneeze that just I'm took sorry, over. It's like not funny at all, but Wait, it's crazy. It's not funny. <laughs> it really hurts. Preston would say boo boo, and if you kiss it, it's just better. This is my mom's it's old so burn hot. trick, by the way. It's vanilla extract right on the burn. Pretty good one. Maybe we should tell TikTok about that one well, another time. It's, I can feel how hot it is. Ugh. It's like, do I put ice on it? No. It's freezing. It feels burning on the inside. What do uh, I do? I don't know. I don't know many burn tricks besides vanilla. Well, can you Google something? Yeah, I'll Google it right now. Cool the burn with lukewarm running water for 20 minutes. As soon as possible after the injury. Never use ice. Never use iced water or any creams or greasy substance like butter or a burn, on a burn. Okay, well, it did exactly the opposite. I put cold, iced freezing cold <laughs> water on it immediately. Vaseline is good three times a day. Lukewarm. <sighs> Hurts? <sighs> no. <laughs> okay, so we've gotten through the pain. We're now back into laughter. But we're getting chairs. Are you sure that I can't just put it in a bowl full of Never bowl said of water. bowl, said running cool water. To keep watching TV, you want to stand in the powder room? Have your hand on the door. <laughs> the door. Like, yeah. <laughs> I do. We just started watching Fauda and it's pretty addictive. Ugh. I'm trying I, to get your mind off things. I, I, well, just so you know, I am watching another episode. You're so stupid. Sneezes can sneak up on you. Yeah, sure. Can. Came out of nowhere. You see all the water. Can you still see all the water on the floor? Cleaned it up with my socks. My socks are now wet though. I thought I broke the glass in the in the sink. They can break. Because it like I threw it. I mean. <laughs> so happy so, you're okay. So scary. So after I do this, then what happens? We clean put wrap. cling wrap on it. Do we have cling wrap? With nothing else. I mean, if I have ten minutes here, do you want to run out and grab a burn thing? I mean, no one even says burn things, they just say cling wrap, but we don't even have real cling wrap. No. No, we have press and seal. Oh no, we need cling wrap. Okay, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go get some. Damn, that was scary. Off to Walgreens. <laughs> Pass on the tea. Anyone want tea? Nope. Let's go. 
You're alive. I just need chaps. Okay. Just lean in for a kiss and you went upstairs. <laughs> you see you downstairs. <laughs> oh. Scary. Status update on burn victim? It hurts and yeah. I'm ordering Biafane. I got patches. You got patches? Yeah. Okay, because Biafane's really good for burns, but. Okay. Good to have at the house anyway. Um, so do I put a patch on before bed? I'm going to sleep with that tonight. Do you want to put more porn in there? Do we do you, have any? Yeah, but it's not like blistered yet or anything, right? I don't think so. I hope it doesn't blister. Yeah. I think the water will do it well. Mm. <laughs> we got to go. To bed, tough not watch another episode of Fowda. We gotta shut it down.